Ms. Sanders, my first question is, is for you. <laughs> Sorry. Ms. Sanders, my first question for you is, um, you have not held a political office before now, have you? No. Why are you running for governor? I'm running for governor because I'm one of the people as well. And it's a lot of things that need to be changed in this state. First of all, the at will, the uh, overtax, as well as uh, being able to have the resources to have work. And it's a problem. So I'm more concerned of the people as well as myself, my children, their children, their grandchildren, making sure that we are in a state that is more concerned of the people and not just the government. Okay. Uh, my second question is, um, on your official Facebook page, you recently said, I'm for all, but when we look at the issues at hand, uh, blacks are the only ones who endure cruel and unusual punishment and pain. Uh, what do you mean by that? And with statements like that, do you think that you can get the support of all the people of Arkansas? What I meant by that statement as far as how you see us being brutalized in the eye of the police, uh, you can see different type of people being arrested and detained and it's a different avenue as far as the African Americans. Um, the police automatically is out to kill them and I think that that is wrong. I'm not justifying whatever crime that they may have committed, but I'm justifying of us being treated as humans. and. As far as you do everyone else, we should be treated the same, not it's just like we are violent animals that's out to hurt people because we have, have people that uh, been shot with no weapons, no reason of being pulled over, and the officers don't even want to hear whatever they have to say. It's like they don't have the right to speak or don't have the right, you know, to defend themselves in the time of being confronted by an officer, which I think is cruel and unusual punishment. And um, I'm not the only one that feel like that we be treated as you, um, cruel and unusual punishment as far as Sweden. They see us being cruel and treated cruel and unusual as well. But when you look at the TV, and I've witnessed where a Caucasian have actually been uh, in the light of the officer with a gun and they did whatever they could to de-escalate de the situation without shooting them and then you'll look and see where African American don't have a weapon and they out being violent they not they escalate in the situation and not de-escalate and I think that everybody should be treated fairly it shouldn't be a selective group of people that you treat different from another and the second part of that question was, um, you know, with comments like that, do you feel that you will be able to get the support of all of the races in this race? Yes, because it's a, it's a lot of Caucasians that feel the same. They feel that we are being treated unfairly. So it's not like I was making a racist comment or anything. It's just the facts. You can look at the facts of how African Americans are being treated. And I said, uh, African, I said blacks are mostly the ones that's cruel and unusual punishment. Okay. Uh, my third question is that you have shown support for cannabis friendly events. Do you believe that uh, recreational marijuana should be legalized in Arkansas and did you support the medical marijuana amendment? Yes, I did, and yes, it should. Uh, if we look at the prohibition back in 1920, where it actually started in 1919, where alcohol was uh, labeled to be formed as illegal. That's what the prohibition was for. And the uh, 18th Amendment made it illegal. Well, they repelled that in the 21st Amendment, allowing alcohol to be legal again, knowing that the toxin that a person consumes takes them out of their character and is poison. Whereas uh, hemp, which is normally the name of it, um, the marijuana name was given by man, so the hemp form was legal as well. And back in the, in the 1700s, they had to grow hemp. If they refuse, they will be locked up, and it's, it's a non-toxic. The statistics shows that it's a non-toxic. It's safer than cigarettes, it's safer than alcohol, it's safer than the pharmaceutical medicine that's been put out here. And by the state being named a natural state, it should be a resource that's available for people. It shouldn't just have to be medical. It, that's why I would like for it to be recreational as far as if the medical patients need it, they should be able to be able to get it too without a stipulation of being medical marijuana because saying medical marijuana gives you the idea that it, have, it has been altered. So complications can come from that as well. Okay. Uh, my next question is, what is your position on Arkansas Works and do you support the plan that's in place by the current administration? 
No, I do not. For one, um, it doesn't make sense for you to say that people will have to seek work to keep health care and people are already seeking work. It's, there's no resources for people to, to get work. So are you saying that in order for them to keep health care that they already have in place uh, is to get a job? And please believe me, I'm not against nobody working because we all should work, but the people are already looking for work and there's not enough resources for them to gain that job. So you're saying that you're gonna allow uh, thousands or maybe even millions of people to not be able to have health care because they don't have a job when we have a, at will that we need to look at as well before we take that in consideration because people are being fired for any given reason and then if they're being fired for any given reason that means they can lose their health care too having 20 hours of work that is a good idea but it shouldn't just be stipulated to where that's the only way you can keep your medicaid knowing the conditions that this state is in as far as the at will law Okay. Uh, and my final question is, you have proposed um, eradicating some of our imposed taxes uh, with an inflating DHS budget and a costly opioid epidemic boot looming. How will you cut taxes and also be able to balance that budget? And that's what the uh, recreational tax 21 and older come in place. As I've researched um, different states, they were able to produce um, a large number of revenue of recreational. And I feel that putting that recreational tax in place will allow us to be able to impose some taxes, not all, but if you look at the first drive of the Constitution, it states that no individual should be directly taxationed, and that's what we're doing. I mean, it wasn't always a law for income tax. Um, that actually came in place, what, in 1916? The Supreme Court um, actually put that in place. So I feel like as the government is study getting money and their revenue is study growing, they should be willing to give back to the people to, to alleviate some of the burden that the people are having. Because they're, like we all state, that this state has a lot of money. It's known as a wealthy state. And if it's known as a wealthy state, then why should the people be suffering? When are they going to give back to the people? And I'm here to try to seek justice for people who need help. And it's a lot of us that it's, it's more of us in poverty than it is in the higher place. So it's like 80% of us uh, basically probably in poverty, even including the middle class, because they're only living by check to check. Even though they have a stable job and a higher bracket, they still need help. So we should consider a ways to be able to help the people of this state. And the recreational tax is a way to bring in revenue to alleviate some of the taxes so that we can still be able to allocate funds to schools and our farmers across the state, our fire departments. Because of now, I've spoken with um, one of the firefighters and they were stating that they're using their funds. And I don't see how that's fair that you want them to uh, jeopardize their life to defend people in fires in this state. and you can't provide them the funds, the proper funds that they need to be able to work, and, and that's the problem. Okay, well, TCS Sanders, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you.